Hello and welcome to my Domino's tutorial. Domino's is an add-on for the World of Warcraft and we're going to be talking about that. Now when you first enter the world upon um, downloading and installing Domino's, uh, you're going to have a big mess on your screen. It's going to look a lot like that. I'm just going to run away from this wolf because I don't feel like being attacked at the moment. Okay, so the reason why it's going to look like that, I'm going to show you. First off, I'm going to type in the configuration command, which is just simply forward slash dominoes, and go into the configure bars portion. And as you can see now, there's just an awful lot of bars, okay? Uh, there's a total of 120 normal usable powers in World of Warcraft. That doesn't change regardless of what add-ons you might have. It's always 120. Domino's has it laid out in 10 bars of 12 powers each. And then in addition to that, you have class, your cast bar. Um, if you hop in a vehicle, you've got a vehicle bar. You have access to the roll bar, which, you know, is where you roll for loot. Um, that's your XP bar. Got your menu bar and your bags bar. And, oh, and a pet bar, which is buried right there. All right, now a cool thing about Domino's that I think a lot of people don't actually know about is a command. It's a command forward slash dom space num buttons. So D-O-M space N-U-M-B-U-T-T-O-N-S and then you enter a number. We're going to enter six. Now what that did is it is it made it so that it's instead of 12, uh, powers per bar. It's six powers per bar. So now instead of 10 bars, I've got 20 bars of six powers each. I could do forward slash dom num buttons one, and that would give me 120 separate buttons that I would then have uh, the ability to play with and configure. Uh, but for now, for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to go back to 12. That's the standard. And we're going to go back into dominoes. Okay, now, just so you know, you have some of the same things that uh, World of Warcraft has, which is, like, for instance, show empty buttons. We'll show you all the buttons that aren't being used. Sticky bars kind of kind of sucks the bars together. Uh, I don't like that feature, so I usually uncheck that. I'm going to go back into configure bars. Okay, I'm going to move this out of our way. I'm going to move that out of our way, and I'm going to move that out of our way. And I'm going to move some bars up here to the top. I'm going to use 8 because it's it's easy to see um, all the powers on it. I'm going to use 9 because it's very different uh, contrasting with 8. And I'm also going to use 1. Okay, so the bars we're going to use for this are 8, 9, and 1 because that's just where I happen to have all my powers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift right click. And what that does is it hides a bar. So now this bar can no longer be used for anything unless I shift right click again and reactivate it. Um, but it can't, it can't be used for anything. I'm going to do the same thing with number one. Now those will not be seen or be able to be active. Then when you just simply right click on a bar, you bring up the settings. All right, now I'm going to exit configuration mode. I normally do everything in this mode, but for the purpose of this, you can see things clearly I'm not going to, and you'll notice that those other bars are now gone. Okay, now first off you have in your layout here, you have size. That simply, simply gets rid of buttons. Um, those buttons are still sort of there. They're just not usable when you get rid of them. Okay, that's if you if you just want a four-button bar instead of a 12 on one of your bars, that's fine. Uh, columns, you can go all the way down to one column. A setting I like to use a lot is four columns. I'll ex actually explain that in the next video that I make. But I use that setting a lot. Um, you can change the size within the columns, too, uh, if you wanted to. Spacing, put space in between. Padding, I'm not quite sure why you'd use padding, to be honest. It, it, it puts padding around it, and I, I don't really know what it's for, to be perfectly honest. Scale makes it big or small. Faded opacity, what this does is if it's zero, you hover over it, and it comes back up, and you can use those buttons. Maybe if you want something just so you know where it's at, like that, now you hover over it. Now, what opacity does is that's that's usable in very certain circumstances, very specific circumstances. But this is a little bit of a tough one because you can fade it out. Maybe halfway faded might be useful at times. But when you fade it out, the bar is still there. Now, it doesn't come back on hover over, but the bar is still there. And I can still swap powers in and out of the bar or accidentally click on a power 
you know, that's in that bar. So uh, that's a tough one to use. It should only be used probably in certain circumstances. Then we have more on this drop down menu here, we have more options. And I think that a lot of people miss these too. First off, Priest. Now what that does is it gives you, you know, if it was Warrior, it would give you your different stances. For Priest, it gives you Shadow Form. Uh, and what you do is you set this. So now in bar 8, if I go into Shadow Form, I can change the powers on the bar. So right now it's set, I don't know if you can read that, but it's set for bar 9. So if I go into Shadow Form, suddenly bar 8 changes to those powers that we saw earlier on bar 9. Okay, your key bindings all stay the same. So now you've got different powers to use with the same key bindings, and that comes in really, really handy when switching stances or changing forms or what have you. If you go out of shadow form, then your powers are right back where they were. Okay, quick paging. Now what happens is there's shift commands, uh, which also can be changed on the front page to control or alter, what have you. But shift one is your normal state. Now if I change, um, bar 8 here, let's say I want it bar 9 and shift 9. Now if I'm, if I'm in a certain circumstance and I want to change up my bars based on, say, a raid that I'm in, now I hit shift 2 and that changes the bars according to whatever this page says. Okay, shift 3, shift 4, shift 5, and shift 6. So you have six different shift states and when I go back to shift 1, it takes me right back to my old bar. Okay, modifiers. Now what a modifier does is it is it changes it on a hover over. So if I use this control one, if I hover over the bar and hit control and hold control, it changes to bar nine because that's how I've set it now. If I let up, it's off. So that's how these work. And this is just a slider. If you can't read this, it's just simply a slider. And all of these are sliders that say like bar eight, bar nine, bar 10, bar one, bar two. That just goes that way to set things, okay? Targeting. This is pretty cool, because now what this does is like, if I want to help somebody, I might change it to bar nine where my healing powers are. If I want to harm somebody, I might change it to bar one where my harmful powers are. Uh, or none, if I'm not doing anything, then it, I can leave it where it is. Actually, you know what, I'll change that to bar one, just because if I'm in, well, no, I'll leave that the same. Never mind. Now, if I click on myself, it's assuming that I'm going to help. So it changes the bar to those healing powers that I have on bar 9. If I click on the wolf, now it's showing me those other powers that I have in bar 1. And if I'm not targeting anything, it goes back to my original. So it makes an assumption based on what you're targeting. Show states. Now, you can put commands in here. <clears throat> so for instance... Uh, if I want this to only show up when I'm in combat, I'm going to put a bracket, type in the word combat, unbracket that, okay, set that, and now see my bar has disappeared until I go into combat. And now he targets me and it's back on because I'm in combat. And that's how that works. Okay, and that's about it. That's really about what you have. Now, one thing that I haven't shown you yet, go back into Domino's. If I go to bind keys, it's really, really simple. All I have to do is go over a power and hit the key I want to bind it to. Okay, so if I want to bind this one to one, there it is. If I want to bind it to two, there it is. Three, four, five. Just hover over the power, click the key you want to bind it to. That's how you uh, bind keys in dominoes. Extraordinarily simple. I'm just going to show you a picture of my layout. Um, oh, wow, that is not my way layout. Let me see if I can find one quick here. Okay. There we go. There's my layout there. Uh, that other one was the WoW layout, just the standard. This is my layout, and you can see all of my powers down at the bottom right. I keep them over there uh, because they're nice and out of the way. I've got them set up how I want, where when I'm in shadow form, they're one way, and when I'm out of shadow form, they're another way. And uh, this guy here with the with the mounts, it, it completely disappears when I'm in combat. So there's, there's all kinds of things that you can do in dominoes. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and enlightening. 
And uh, thanks very much for watching and have a great day.